Tensions abroad have soldiers at military bases all around the country moving out. Nearly 3,500 are bound for the Middle East out of North Carolina. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Mark Taylor. And I'm Darlene Hill. Colleen is off tonight. Women have always been a part of the Army's mission, and their role continues to expand, and so does the focus on female specific equipment. One Ohio lawmaker wants to make sure that every soldier's uniform fits. If you are constantly grabbing and adjusting, you know, trying to make it fit, what are you not paying attention to? And every soldier puts a lot of trust in the equipment they're given. They're making the sacrifice to serve, but... I deployed back in 2006 to Mosul, Iraq, and I wore body armor. And it's fitted for men, so you're carrying like an extra 10, 15 pounds worth of weight. NBC Forest cameras were the only ones rolling when Congressman Steve Stiver sat down with female veterans to talk about body armor and health benefits that specifically cater to women who serve in the military. Women have fertility issues, they have low birth weight, uh, babies as a result of their service disproportionately to the uh, non veteran population, um, and they have other deployment and stress exposures that. Um, manifest themselves differently than they do in men. There are 2 million female veterans who depend on those health benefits. 200,000 are enlisted. They don't want to be seen as female veterans. They only want to be seen as those who answered the call. Soldiers, fighters, and veterans who recognize the physical difference. Their uniform is still made for men. It's about 25 pounds when fitted with front and side plates. It's bullet and heat resistant, and sizes run from small to double XL. It's all about mobility, but speed can sometimes be compromised. When the armor doesn't fit and, and you're sitting or you're in a prone position and it bunches up against your head, you don't have that mobility that you need for your line of sight. Congressman Stivers is a lead sponsor on an amendment pushing for new uniforms that come in smaller sizes and are about 25% lighter. Those plates will also be better shaped to fit a woman's body and shoulders, and it will be smaller in the waist, making it safer and easier to serve. But it's so important that we give them the tools they need to protect themselves and do their jobs. Now, Congressman Stiver says that amendment has been rolled into the National Defense Authorization Act in hopes of getting this bill passed. Stiver says he hopes that happens next summer.